welcome to my channel in this video I will guide you about the core features of SAS so what is SAS SAS is basically CSS extension language and it is an essential part of our modern day web designing to work with SAS in a Laravel project we will use the Laravel mix which will convert the SAS code into basic CSS codes because browsers can't read SAS also uh, I will let you know about uh, the two syntaxes that are supported by SAS one is the SCSS syntax which is very similar to the common CSS syntax where we use curly braces and it is much more popular than the another syntax which is indented syntax but the indented syntax is the original SAS syntax in which we don't use the curly braces instead of that we use indentation and semicolons etc and these files are saved as .sass extension so now let's get started with the core functionalities of SAS and how we can incorporate SAS inside an existing Laravel project here in Laravel mix section you will find the working with style sheets and underneath that there are various options so at this point we will only consider this section here the this syntax is used to incorporate SAS in our project so now we just write down this code and yeah that's it I have already created an app.scss file inside the resources folder and also inside the scss folder and the app.scss file css file is the endpoint and uh, which you can say uh, result file of our css code so whatever we do inside the scss file will get reflected into normal css inside this file with the help of Laravel mix so let's uh, change this in this given to scss and app.scss and this will convert the scss file into public.css so now if I write down over here primary color and make this to blue now body background color equals to this variable and now save the file and run the npm run watch so as you can see laravel mix is watching the file app.scss and it will convert this rather its codes into app.css file so now as you can see our scss file is converted into css file with the proper value see the primary color i have used as a variable in the sas it got converted into its value in the css file we will see about the map git feature now let's do that here I'm going to declare a variable named font widths and I will give some value thin to 500 medium to 600 and bold to 700 now if I put this thing in the map get function I, here I will use font weights the collection of data 
and the desired key I want to use in my CSS. So see here if I use medium and if I use bold let's say we can use 400 yeah as you can see the font a font weight is changing so this is the map git functionality of sas in sas is nesting so as you can see over here we have a single class name container and text under it so in sas we can do this kind of thing color equals to secondary color so by doing this you can see the color has changed to blue but if we do something like that to text color then we will see let this as you can see these haven't changed yet now we will do the same thing div class row and close the div as you can see the color of the text has been changed to white and if we see on the CSS file we can see something like this so nesting can be easily handled using SAS now the next part we will talk about partials so as you can see all the SAS codes have been written into a single file till now so if I put more and more CSS codes the file can get bulkier and a bit difficult to handle to reduce this problem we can use partials which are SAS files but with uh, under, underscore at the front of it okay so I have declared a file variable dot scss I have created this file over here I can put my variables just like that and now all I can do is import dot slash variables now if I save this nothing has been changed so to split the SAS code into multiple files we use partials talk about functions SAS functions are pretty similar like JavaScript functions so we will convert this map git into a function so we are using wait and here we will pass the name now we will return the map git let's copy the font weights sorry now we will pass the name parameter and we will use the name of the function along with the parameter so as you can see the same thing is happening yeah so this is the function in SAS another most important feature of SAS is mixins mixins are kind of functions so what is a mixin uh, let's try with some example 
so the syntax is mixing and the mixing name say suppose we are giving a name pad and in the body we are defining a padding of 2 rem now to use the mixing we use the add the rate include and then the mixing name so if we refresh the page as you can see the mixing has been applied and if we see over here inside our container class there is a 2 rem padding applied so in this type of uh, function we can use uh, codes that are often required in many places that uh, means that the common functionalities we can put together inside a mixing and use them in, in using the include syntax